guys, so welcome back to On The Topic with me, Amy B. How are you guys doing this morning? So, I wanted to bring you a my first ever first impressions video this morning <laughs> on a new product that has hit the market and um, you guys know how I love Wet n Wild. I rave about their products, I push them all the time because they are just so affordable. They're at your reach at any time, pretty much at any drugstore. And sometimes I know they're limited edition, things that come out are pretty hard to get a hold of. Um, but for the most part, you can just, you can find them anywhere and that's why I love them. So <clears throat> I wanted to uh, share this morning, we're gonna do a first impressions video on the new Wet n Wild foundation that came out. But I'm going to do some first impressions on a few items actually. I picked up the foundation and I picked up the powder that goes along with it and I picked up a deeper one. Um, this one right here um, is in the color Cocoa so I picked it up to um, you know, kind of contour with to see how it worked. This, I have already used this one with another foundation. Just wanted to see. So this won't be a first impressions, but I, I haven't tried it all over my face. So I got this one for that purpose. And I also picked up one of the contour um, sticks that I wanted to try as well. And then um, there, I picked up one of the highlighters. This one's in um, Precious Pearls, Precious Petals, sorry, Precious Petals. So I wanted to give these a go this morning. And then I have um, one other item that I'll try this morning that's not part of the Wet n Wild, but it is gonna be a first impressions. Um, it is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer. Um, just wanted to give that a try. <clears throat> you guys know I share with you, I, I hate doing my brows because you know, they, you can see like they're okay, but they do have sparse areas. And I just, I always like to try to find the, the um, easiest possible route to do these things. So anyways, we're gonna get started. I've already primed my face. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry, I have not primed my face. I'm going to prime my face. I've already moisturized and everything, but we're gonna prime the face um, using the Urban Decay um, Optical Illusion Primer this morning. And let me kind of pull my hair back and just get this out of my face. Don't mind the hair, guys. I'm just, you know, have some dry shampoo going on in there. <laughs> But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we're going to jump right in. And actually, I've actually also been priming my face. Guys, you know I raved about this Milani stuff. It is so good. You need to get your hands on this. Like literally, me and my husband went on a hunt for this stuff. I love my husband. He's, he's like in the game with me, like trying to find some stuff. But we went on a hunt to like <clears throat> four different stores, five different stores, maybe even six, calling around because like everybody is out of it and it's crazy. Like you cannot get your hands on it. And so we finally found two bottles um, at one of the HEBs in our area. Um, and then another bottle at another HEB. Um, I'm in Texas, so I have HEB here. Um, and um, I love their prices there. I love HEB's prices. I mean, they are so good. Um, <clears throat> and they're stepping it so up in their in the makeup game, like in their makeup aisles, like they are killing it. They, they, um, you know, just stepping up. I think everybody's stepping up their game just because of the makeup realm right now. But anyway, <clears throat> so this is going to be a laid back, maybe kind of chitty chatty, <laughs> uh, first impressions. So we are going to get started by a starting on the foundation. I picked up the color gold, golden beige. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a perfect match. It might not be. If it's too light, it's okay. We'll like bronze it up and make it all nice and beautiful. But anyway, so I'm just going to put um, a little of the foundation on the back of my hand. And we're going to blend it into the skin. So let's do that. So I guess we'll kind of like dot it around. Ooh, it definitely got some color. Don't worry. Don't fret. It, um... It might look light, but once I blend it in, I'm sure it will be fine. It'll kind of blend into the skin. I'm gonna use a real technique sponge to just blend that all into my skin. <clears throat> Off the bat, it feels like really, um, I don't know what the word is, silky, satiny, maybe? That's what it feels like to me, so. I don't know. I like it off the touch, the first touch, because it's like really, it feels real thin, um, like a real thin consistency. But it definitely has some good coverage. 
it's just natural on the skin, which is nice. Like, it's not, it is, definitely does not look thick at all. Really like it so far. I'm just gonna see if I can build a little bit in here. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's buildable. And I've watched a few reviews on this one with um, people that I watched that that have loved it so far, like um, Casey Holmes. I, I love watching her. We have the same, somewhat same type of skin as far as um, oily. She's oily and, and so am I, pretty oily in the T-zone area. And usually things that she'll recommend work for me. And she loved this one, so we shall see. We shall see. All right. So far, I like that. On the initial putting it on, I'm liking it. What do you guys think? Did it cover pretty decent? I know it's nothing is going to cover my pen and eyes fully with a foundation. Um, at least not the covers. That, I mean, the consistency of the foundation that I like to use will probably not cover my under eyes and my circles. I, and I usually use a corrector. I just didn't grab it. I just wanted to try the foundation um, and then concealer. So. And I didn't pick up the concealer um, with this one as well, <clears throat> just because I already know that it's not going to be strong enough for what I need it to cover. So that's the foundation so far. It does look a little light, but not to worry, guys. We will warm that up and make it look decent enough. But um, so far, the color, color wise, I am liking it. I'm liking it a lot. All right, so now I'm going to go with my uh, tart shape tape. This is a concealer I use. This is pretty much about the only thing that really like really covers up my dark circles. So we're going to go in with all of that. I'm just going in with medium. I'm not trying to really highlight. I just really want to conceal and work on covering those dark darkness circles and max. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to be setting my under eyes because I want it to be locked in. I'm going to be setting it with the Laura Mercier um, setting, loose setting powder. Um, that is what I'm going to use today. And I'm just going to put very, very little just to kind of lock this under eyes in. And then the rest we're going to set with the Wet n Wild um, powder with a brush. But just for my concealer, because I, I try to keep this from creasing as much as possible, I'm just this for me. It just works by setting it with a um, with a beauty blender that are the you know the sponge, the beauty sponge, the damp beauty sponge. It just locks it in there and keeps it from creasing. All right, so now let's move on. Oh, before we do that, let's try the um, we're gonna try the Wet n Wild contour stick. I got the color this one right here. I got the color Where's Walnut. <laughs> I love their names. They're so cute. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try that. I've never, ever, ever, ever tried a cream contour stick. It just, for me, it's easier just to grab the contour powder and go with it. But, you know, for the first impression's sake, we're going to try it and see how it goes. Maybe it'll lock it in because I'm still going to go over it with um, the, the powder in cocoa, the pressed powder, to set it. So let's see. We're going to just contour the face. Ooh. Ooh, that's dark. Maybe I shouldn't have went so, <laughs> so harsh. We're trying to go so harsh, but don't worry. We shall blend it out. So I'm just contouring where I, where I would normally contour with powder. And I'm definitely going to go on the nose because I do like to make my nose look thinner. Um, so yeah, so we're definitely going to go with that. And then just right there. So yeah, so we'll do that and blend it out. Let's see how that blends out. I'm kind of nervous, guys. <laughs> I have never. You know what? Let me see if it blends well with the beauty, with the real technique sponge. Let's see how that blends out. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, actually. Oh my gosh, guys, that blended out. It's blending out really, really nice. I like that. I didn't think that I would like the cream contouring, but, or like the contour sticks, but oh, that's really, really pretty. And I think it's gonna look good once I go in and like um, blend it, uh, set it with the the powder. Oh, that's nice. Now this might not be for everybody. Um, I I know because there's some people that are like oh, that's too many steps for me, and I totally get it. Um, of course, I probably wouldn't do this for every day, but guys, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty quick. 
you know, just kind of blending it out there. It, it does, it does, it blends out really well with the beauty blender. You just gotta kind of really work it in. Get my hair out the way. Yeah, I like it. I think I like doing that. I really do. And you're just, <clears throat> just contouring there. Come back to the nose here. So now we're gonna go in with the powder. So I'm gonna take the cocoa color. I, I already know that I love this powder. Like I said, I've already used this one and it's really, really, really good. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of set those, those places that we did the, the contour stick with to kind of set them in place. And I'm also gonna kind of use it to warm up the face because like we said, the foundation was just, just a tad light. That's all, just a tad. And don't worry if it looks too harsh because I always go back in and blend everything out. So I like to pull this down just a little so you don't see that harsh line. But we're gonna go in and we're gonna blend everything. I'm sorry for my squeaky chair too. <clears throat> So yeah, so there we go with that. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna set the rest of the face with the other powder. This is the Wet n Wild, um, it's in Golden Tan. So hopefully it's my color. <laughs> hopefully it's my color, but we're gonna go with that. Sorry, I should have had these things opened already so like, you wouldn't have to wait for me to open them. All right, so now I'm gonna just go in with like a fluffy brush um, and just like powder this all over my face. So I'm just gonna go in with that and then we're just gonna set the rest of the face. Ooh, guys, this is nice. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm just gonna go right over the, <clears throat> the contour too just to kind of soften it if it was too hard. That is really nice, really nice, really nice. I like it. I really, really like it. Oh wow. That looks really nice on the skin, guys. Like, it's pretty flawless. I am not even gonna lie, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So there was that. So that's what it looks like. So you have um, my, um, found we did the foundation. We did the contour stick, we did the powders um, so far. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so I'm liking it, I'm liking it. All right, so let's go in real quick with the, um, the uh, eyebrow brush. Let's see how that works. My eyebrows are in that stage right now where they need, I need to take them to go get threaded. <laughs> I, I take them. I need to take them <laughs> and go get threaded. No, I need to go have them threaded just because they're kind of like out of the shapeness. So like what I'll do is like I'll, I'll, um, I try to keep them up on my own for a little bit. And then once they get like too untamable, I go get them threaded to like reshape them and then just go again and try to keep them up and then, you know, just go through the circle of life. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty thin. I like that. It's real thin. Um, oh, it's a pretty, it's really small pencil. So we're going to see how that, okay, so it's pretty, um, it's pretty dry as far as like the, um, like it's, it's a dry consistency for sure. So we're going to see this probably good for drawing eyebrows. So let's see how well it does. And I'm just really going to go in where like, I see like the sparse areas. <clears throat> now this is really good to get like the tail because it's so tiny um, but I'm just gonna go in where the sparse areas are at mostly and then I'll brush brush it kind of through so let's see here so kind of flick it up in those sparse areas and then <clears throat> let's try the brush oh I like the brush it really grabs the hairs I like that it's it's a little harder than my like my um, my elf brush. It's a lot harder, but I like it because it feels like it's definitely it's grabbing the product and it's dispersing it through the brow. So I like that for sure. So yeah, I like that. It definitely it filled it in just enough. Um, so yeah, 
I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, so let's go this one. And of course, my eyebrows never look alike, so I don't even try anymore. Like it's it's pointless. I'll be here for hours trying to get them to look exactly the same. So, yeah, as long as they're looking like they're related, we are good. <laughs> we are all good. So there's that. I'm just kind of coloring it in. I guess again, just the sparse areas. And then we are going to take the spoolie and deposit the rest of the product through the brow. And yeah, I really like this guys. First impressions, I'm impressed. I am impressed um, at how well this worked. For real, for real. We're gonna see how long it holds up though, that's my thing. Like, how long are you gonna hold up? How long? Okay, I'm get a little bit through here because it kind of looks kind of bare in the camera. So, I'll just run some more. Yeah, I really like it. And it brushes the hairs. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not one for my brows. Like, I like them to just be natural. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not real, I don't really like the whole, um, on me, like the cleaned up, like real sharp look. Um, I just like it more natural. Like I said, I like to just fill in what I have and just, you know, make it look full. But I don't care to have it like all sharp. Um, yeah, I just don't like the way that looks on me, um, just personally, so. So yeah, so I just kind of keep them looking like hairy caterpillars. <laughs> um, let's see, what are we gonna do next? Okay, let's go ahead and move on to blush. We're going to move on to blush so we can do the first impressions on the highlighter. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and finish my face. And I'm just using the Mellow Wine, Wet n' Wild um, Mellow Wine color. And we're just gonna Put some of that on and then I'm going to go in with the highlighter so you guys can see the highlighter and then I'll finish the rest of my face and come back and just kind of give you my final thoughts on everything. They're like all first impressions on Wet n Wild. And once again, I didn't open this. Now you're going to like watch me struggle. <laughs> all right. So, ooh, I can't get it out. Man. Why did they make these things so hard to open? Okay. 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 I can't guys, like I'm struggling here. <laughs> like for real, can't do it. Okay guys, okay. Ah, we're in business. Okay, so I'm gonna take just this e.l.f. Um, blush brush that I usually use for my highlighter. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to dip it in these pretty color. And oh wow, that's beautiful. Ooh, that is really, 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 really pretty. You know how I feel about highlight. You got to kind of stop me. Somebody please stop me. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Really pretty. Really pretty. Like that a lot. All right. And you know what? I forgot to go in with um, the contour on my nose. Let me kind of just set that. And we'll blend all that out. We're just going to blend it out. So I just take a little. Ah. <laughs> I'm always dropping stuff. Oh, forget it. We'll just take another one. Okay, so we're gonna. Um, I usually take a big fluffy brush like this, and I'll just kind of go over everything together and just blend it in. Make sure it's blended well. And I'm so sorry, guys. The next chair that I use in this video, I'm gonna get. This chair just squeaks all the time. This is my work chair, so. I need to get rid of it or WD-40 it because it squeaks. So I'm so sorry if that's annoying some of you guys. I'm just, I'll use a different chair on my next video for you guys. And hopefully I'll have a mic soon so it won't be so echoey too. All right, guys. So I blended that out. Looks great. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, my eye makeup and everything, and just come right back and we'll finish up this video. All right. Be right back. Hey guys, all right, I finished up my makeup and this is the final look. <laughs> so I want, I'm want i going to say my final thoughts on the foundation and the powder. Um, I like it so far. Now, of course, um, you know, I'll update you probably in a future video as to how it wears. 
um, just because, um, or, or, or maybe we'll do a check-in later. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, or I'll update the bottom bar, but I will be sure to let you know in future videos um, how I like this if I continue using it and wearing it because um, I really want to get a good feel of how it wears with different primers, um, different setting sprays and things like that. But first impression wise, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed at how it looks, how it's wearing um, with the powders. This is so, guys, these are like $4. I want to say I paid four and change. Less than five at HEB. Also for the um, Golden Beige, um, this was also, so for all three of these, $15, um, I mean, you don't have to pick up all three. I picked up, like I said, the darker shade because I wanted to see how it would be to use it as a contour. I think it's great. I think it looks beautiful. Um, it just, they blend well. The stick, so impressed. I'm so going to start implementing this um, into my makeup routine for days that I really need my contour to be, um, to last longer, long wearing. I think this will definitely help. Um, for your contour not to fade um, that much more. So <clears throat> I am so impressed with these guys. And I think these are $3, somewhere around there, 3 to $4. You know Wet n Wild, most of the things for Wet n Wild are um, a 5 and below. Um, so I am so, so, so impressed. And the highlight, guys, is beautiful. If there is nothing else that you pick up out of this, if you can still find this, um, definitely pick it up. It's definitely worth every penny. I love it for a drugstore highlight. It is amazing, beautiful. It stands up next to a lot of high-end um, highlights. So I definitely think it's worth it. All of these, ah, sorry, I'm always dropping things. <laughs> All of these are definitely worth the buy. I definitely worth checking out. They are being raved about on um, YouTube and for very, very good reason. I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed. Definitely if you're just dabbing into makeup Maybe you're younger, um, you know, younger uh, people that are just getting into makeup. I think this would be an amazing, amazing um, brand and, you know, items to step into um, in the makeup realm. Another thing, I'm so sorry, guys. I had, I forgot I had gotten the Wet n Wild um, Mega Liner um, to do a first impression on as well. I, I am not good <laughs> at doing a wing liner. I'm kind of glad I forgot about this. <laughs> Because I did it off camera and it probably would have taken me, you know, and this would have been like an hour video because I'm like literally like I'm like. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not good at wing eyeliner. That's why I don't do it a whole lot. <laughs> so, but the liner itself is really good. It has a, um, like one of those pretty, it's like a, I don't know if it's a brush. Um. No, it's kind of like one of those applicators. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me kind of put it up to my back of my hand. So it's real thin, you can see pretty. Um, it's not a brush. It's kind of one of those um, spongy looking applicators, but very thin. So you can definitely get like really close to the lash line. I love it. I just kind of wanted to pick one up. I, pick, I um, picked up a, two other colors. Um, but I want to pick it up because I want to start trying to do the wing liner, um, you know, kind of dabbling into it a little bit. I love the way it looks on other people. I've just never really been good at it, so I never tried it. But I'm going to start pushing myself to the limits, guys. I'm going to start pushing myself to the limits. So, yes. So, I picked it up. Love it. Think it's really good. We'll see how it works for the day. And I'll update you on all of this, all of these things. Um, so, yeah. So, um, and just so if you want to know just kind of the rest of the stuff I use on my face, um, I have a Buxom palette here that I use for my eyeshadow. Uh, mascara, of course, you know I use my Tried and True, um, the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Um, for the blush, y'all guys know I use the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I use the Brow Stylist for my brows. Um, and I think that was it. And then, of course, um, I used Laura Mercier to set my under eye. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, this video and how it looks. I'm so impressed with these products. Definitely love them. You will definitely be seeing them in upcoming videos um, as we do get ready with me's um, and things like that. And I will update you on how I am definitely liking them, how they wear. You'll hear it all in the next videos to come. But I'm going to let you guys go. Love you guys. Hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. I pray you guys are all doing well. Um, please check me out on Instagram. Um, it is the same on the topic with Amy V. I will always post there when I have a video up um, or new items that I may pick up to see if you'd want to see a video on them. First impressions, how they wear, all of that great stuff. So, yeah. 
So, all right, guys, I will talk to you very soon and be looking out for uh, more videos to come. Definitely have a lot of exciting things to share. All right, talk to you later. Bye.